Hi everyone, it's Deacon John. Thanks for uh, joining me for this short video. I know we sent out an email uh, earlier last week uh, with some odds and ends for the upcoming confirmation masses on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But we've gotten a lot of questions and we want to kind of put some more information out there beforehand so you know what to expect when you pull up. So if you bear with me, I'm going to work through some information here and hopefully answer all of your questions before, uh, before the big day rolls around. So again, in the email, some, some uh, points that were made. Masks and social distancing are mandatory in the church. Um, that means they have to remain on at all times and you do have to keep at least six feet uh, between households. Uh, we ask that you please arrive 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes before the Mass. This way everyone can find their pews and be seated before we get started. Uh, when you do walk in, I'm standing right in front of the doors to the church here. Uh, inside the doors in the narthex, you will find when you come in, there will be a chart uh, and you will find your name and a number for the pew that you're assigned. So this way you can go right in and find your pew and have a seat. Again, households can be seated together uh, in that pew. We just ask that you keep six feet apart. Um, on that note also, the candidate and the sponsor should be seated closest to the aisle so that they can get out during the Mass to be anointed by the bishop. Um, inside the pew, you will find, this way this is going to reduce a lot of confusion and moving around, you will find worship aids, so there will be uh, a guide there for you to uh, follow along during the Mass. Uh, each candidate will have a name tag with their confirmation name on it in the pew. We ask that you put it on your right side. Uh, you will have your confirmation certificate there ahead of time, so you, that's yours to take. There have been a few questions about flowers. Flowers will be provided and they will also be uh, available in the pews. The boys will have a boutonniere and the boutonniere should be pinned to the left lapel. And for the girls, there will be a wristlet, and that should also go on the left wrist. Uh, finally, before I get into a few of the points about the liturgy, again, I just want to uh, reiterate that you need to dress appropriately for the Mass, please. Um, so for the boys, uh, the candidates and the sponsors, a uh, suit or a jacket and uh, pants, uh, dress pants, dress shoes is appropriate. Uh, please, no sneakers, uh, t-shirts, shorts, uh, gym attire, that's not appropriate. Um, for, the, for the ladies, uh, that was also reiterated in the uh, email, so again, I would just err on the side of caution and make sure that the dresses and skirts are at least to the knees, um, and if possible, shoulders should be covered. If there's any, any question about that, please bring a sweater or a jacket uh, to wear. Getting into the liturgy now, again, there's not going to be any procession, so we're going to limit the amount of people moving around. So we ask that you be seated and the Mass will start as a normal Mass does. After the readings are done, so after the end of the Gospels read, the candidates are going to be presented to the Bishop. So we're hoping that Alexis will be here, a familiar face, to present you to the Bishop. And what will happen is the Bishop will ask you if you understand the sacrament that you're about to receive. So we ask that any time, especially with our masks on, that you're called to respond, that you respond loudly. So when the bishop asks if you understand the sacrament you're about to receive, you're going to respond, I do. So please just let us all hear that. Uh, the bishop will then go on to give us a homily, Bishop Fleecy, and it will be time to renew your baptismal vows. Okay, and again, you'll be prompted for this, but you will be asked to reply, I do. So we just ask that you raise your voice enough to get out through the Mass so we all can hear you. When that's done, we're all going to sit and the uh, anointing will happen. This is going to be the candidate and the sponsor will approach the bishop one at a time. Don't worry about the order. We'll have uh, most likely Debbie Gartner will be here and she will prompt you when it's your turn to go up. Um, and what will happen is the candidate will come up with the sponsor. And we ask that the sponsor put their right hand on the candidate's right shoulder. And you will say, Bishop, I present, and the confirmation name. And the bishop will respond with the name, say, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. The candidate will say, Amen. The bishop will then say, Peace be with you. And the response there will be, and with your spirit. So 
don't worry, we just, we'll give you some further instructions when you get here and we'll be prompting you during the Mass. But we just wanted to get this information out to you before, uh, before the big day showed up. So if you have any questions in the meantime, please feel free to email me. We can have a phone conversation if you like. Uh, but otherwise, just know that myself and all the staff here at St. E's, we're so excited to have you on this big day. So thank you, and we'll see you soon. God bless.